And another update, this is the temperature inside the shelter. It's not bad, outside is zero. As you can see, we have snow, not much, let's say, foot, but we are expecting, let's say, zero Fahrenheit or minus three, something like that, overnight with uh, wind chill. They are saying it should be minus 28. I brought my biggest backpack. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, Army Rifleman backpack you can see it's pretty big pack but uh, I need that because uh, I needed to take uh, uh, basically my complete sleeping system and uh, some isolation also I brought uh, our new uh, piece of equipment if I can say which we developed in last week for this kind of episode it will be a little surprise but uh, I hope you will like it so now I will uh, take my stuff and uh, go that direction to find some shelter because I need to start working on it right now if I don't want to freeze so stay with me guys So I finally uh, found some location where the wind is not that strong because I have a little uh, brush or trees around me so it's stopping the wind a little bit better and uh, I choose this tree to be like main pole if I can say and I will build the A-frame structure uh, here I've got my tarps with me, so I will try to close both ends and to isolate it with snow. That's the idea. I am not sure uh, what I will be able to accomplish uh, in short time because I have, let's say, three hours or maybe two and a half to build the shelter. After that I need to start collecting firewood and uh, focus on some dinner and also stay warm it'll be very cold as you can hear wind will be very strong tonight I hope this episode will be uh, somehow interesting and also special. It's one year exactly by day uh, from my first video. And also before I will continue with construction of the shelter, I want to show you what we've got. Do you like it? And want to have one? It's a badge with Velcro on the back so you can put it almost anywhere where you have the velcro just send us your uh, mailing address and subscribe to our channel and we will mail the badge to you in three business days what do you think about it Last thing I need to do is uh, secure this end to make 
Uh, the shelter almost done and uh, somehow stable. I will use full tactical stake plus the finished rope. All these things were developed to help you in situation like this when it's 5 Fahrenheit outside and you do not have time to cut uh, stakes or uh, I don't know finish the paracord and make a loop something like that you already have it here Now it's time to put snow around. And now I will put the ground tarp which will serve as isolation and also uh, that I'm not gonna lay on the snow and I will also use the third tarp to close the door area this is one side done closed strudel from my wife delicious okay and uh, I finished the shelter to this stage that I'm not gonna do anything more and here is the surprise time probably don't know what's inside so let me show you as I told you we developed this item quickly in one week And I know you guys now thinking what the hell is this? This we call portable stove something like that it does not have official name but it might be even tactical stove I don't know let me quickly show you uh, what parts are here and uh, I need to set it up because uh, the temperature will drop in let's say one hour by five degrees so this is the main packing style if I can say okay it's one rubber band which is holding this part and inside I have other part this is just a birch bark inside I packed some wire if I will need it and the other side you can take this out and here I have just extra clothing so I do not waste the space so what it is is elbow for the uh, heating or cooling uh, ducts system and uh, it's very easy to put it together just on the top put this and it's basically a reduction from 6 inch to 4 inch and on the other end I have 
let's say door like this and when you need to feed it you just open it and close it that's all and uh, the special attention was paid to come up with some kind of portable chimney and it cannot be simpler it's just the flexible dryer hose which you can extend to almost 8 feet when you are done you just make it small again and put it back into the stove so my plan is to take the stove place it somewhere here it has little legs which nicely bite so it's going nowhere and just attach the chimney simply like this that's why we have the reduction from 6 to 4 inches for the chimney just like this I plan to put this stove somewhere here so I can feed it when I will be sleeping or when I will just sit inside and now I just need to figure it out how to attach the chimney all right chimney is up I just put bigger stick and use the wire to secure it so it's not touching tarp or anything so there is space here is space but it should not be that hot at uh, zero Fahrenheit <laughs> And here is the end. I also put this uh, reflective uh, cheap uh, sleeping pad around. When I will go sleep, I will just close it like this somehow. So it will first uh, block the heat from the stove to melt the tarp somehow and also it will reflect the heat back to me inside the shelter we try to maximize the heating potential of a simple a-frame shelter and uh, now i will spend my time with uh, collecting firewood and starting the stove you certainly will be with me when i will start um, that little thing up so hopefully it will help me to get through the night and also I put thermometer over here I probably cannot see that because this camera do not focus that close but it's showing around 5 Fahrenheit and before the Sun will go down completely as you can see I have I don't know 30 minutes 40 minutes and uh, I just wanted to show you the shelter from little distance so there is some kind of idea how it looks like
this is uh, the extra wood which I will leave probably outside just to grab overnight if needed and I made a pile and some bigger pieces back there so here is a little update from inside uh, first I check the temperature outside is around 4 degrees here I have 15.4 and I didn't start the uh, little stove yet I closed myself here a little bit with the reflective uh, sleeping pad here is the wood and I put uh, good sleeping pad under me and I made little bed area army BV cover um, the mountain uh, sleeping bag and uh, my summer sleeping bag so it's somehow similar to military system but this is basically my system which I uh, had at my home um, so I just put it together I will show you show you in the morning how it looks like uh, together and hopefully it'll be warm okay I prepare the stove to be started nope let me try something else you probably don't know but I hate to start fire with a lighter so I will do everything to avoid that okay second attempt I add good old dryer lint here we are The first official fire in our little stove. So here is a little update on my situation. Conditions are tough, I can tell you. Uh, it's really cold outside, it's around zero. And uh, I started with uh, cooking, finally. I have the can, I'm glad I took it because uh, uh, it's very hard in this uh, condition to cook something outside. Stove is working nicely and uh, noodles are heat up, ready to eat, I cannot wait. And temperature at the bottom of the shelter if I can say 19.2 and the dinner is served and this is my feet heating setup and also for the special situation special drink is needed Captain Morgan is the best Thank you bro Okay guys, uh, before I will go to sleep, I want to show you my uh, sleeping setup or sleeping uh, system. Uh, this is uh, the army BV cover, you know that, and uh, the old sleeping bag, and I just add snaps. I 
can use it the same way as the army original one and this one is uh, the mountain sleeping bag so I will get in, into the sleeping system still nicely hot I'm not not planning to to feed it all night I will probably sleep as a, as a baby as I hope so see you tomorrow guys Good morning, we have snow coming from the sky, okay, not bad night, um, it was really cold to <laughs> be outside without uh, any kind of uh, really good shelter or heating, but um, I woke up, let's say, around uh, 4 a.m. and uh, not because of the uh, cold, but uh, I had some some stomach issues, if I can say. And after that, I started the uh, stove again uh, for, let's say, hour or something like that. I don't know. I fell uh, asleep uh, again. Uh, probably around 5.30 until now and uh, it was not bad it's 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 nice inside uh, those sleeping bags uh, it's warm but uh, definitely um, stay inside if you can uh, in minus 3 Fahrenheit it's uh, not a bad idea I will pack everything uh, stove and all other stuff and I hope uh, this video was uh, interesting for you and some kind of special as I promised at the beginning and uh, you will return to watch our videos going forward and uh, don't forget about the badge if you want one just send us your mailing address and subscribe to our channel and you will get it if you will go somewhere at minus 3 Fahrenheit overnight just please think that it's it's not fun it's uh, not joke and uh, you have to be prepared for that so take some very good clothes good sleeping bag some cover and especially something what will heat you up quickly Thank you very much for watching everybody and uh, as always, take care.